Today, I'm gonna to give you my honest opinion of a hydroponic system that is relatively new to the market. It's called the Garden. I've been a big fan of hydroponics for years, but this was my first time operating any sort of hydroponic system. After six weeks of using this particular system, this is my review of the Garden. When you order a garden, it comes in two boxes and everything is organized with a book of beautiful instructions. I was able to set the whole thing up myself without any help. Once you set it up, you place your seed cubes in the garden, fill up the water tank, plug it in and switch it on. You're almost done, but not quite. This last step is actually one of my favorites and here's why. Garden has an app called Kelby that you will link your new unit to via Bluetooth. And because the unit has built-in cameras, it will look after your garden for you from this point on. That's right, you now have a whole team via Kelby helping to keep an eye on what's going on in your indoor personal garden. In just three weeks, I had beautiful kale, arugula, green, tatsori, and butterhead lettuce growing in my dining room. But not all was an automatic success. Some of my plants never sprouted, and at this point, I'm pretty sure it was user error. When I downloaded my app, there was already a set schedule for watering and lighting in the app. I was having so much fun playing with the app that I deleted the schedule and created my own. What I didn't know was that my cubes were getting overwatered and some of my seeds were waterlogged and rotting. About three weeks into my experience, I got a message from Kelby telling me that my arugula and green mustard leaves looked a little yellow around the edges. I had noticed, but was glad that they messaged me before I messaged them. I followed their advice on what to do, and three weeks later, my arugula is still a little yellow around the edges of some leaves, but I'm suddenly seeing their other leaves that are all green, and that is exciting. So let's talk about pros and cons in my own experience with the garden. The garden is easy to assemble. Step-by-step -step directions are accompanied by well-labeled and packaged parts. This is important, especially for someone like me who has difficulty following directions. Each and every cube is beautifully labeled. That means there's no guessing at what you're placing in each spot of your garden. And as they are growing, you know exactly what you are looking at as it grows. There are other hydroponic systems on the market that do not have labels for each plant. And I suppose you could fix this with a label maker or a piece of tape and a marker. But I have to say, I love the already labeled cursive writing and this was a great touch. Well done, garden. Size. The garden unit only takes up two square feet of floor space. It's perfect for a small apartment. That is pretty amazing, especially when you consider my next point, which is the grow lights are built into the unit and make growing inside easy and take up no extra floor space. Their app and cameras make it almost impossible to fail, especially for the non-green thumb crowd. The cameras also come in handy if you are traveling and you just want to peek in on your plants. Garden has a section of their app called the plant book. The plant book has pictures and names of everything that you're growing in your garden. Not only does it tell you how to care and harvest each and every plant, but it also lists ways to use them in recipes and the qualities of the plants as well. I have to say that the two parts that I probably appreciate the most are the origins and qualities sections. So while you might just become a bit more healthy in your nutrition, you might learn something new as well. Price is comparable to other units on the market, especially if you bundle their upfront purchase with a two-year membership. The team back at Garden will send you fantastic step-by-step -step instructions with links to photos and videos whenever you run into issues to help explain everything you need to do. This is a real plus. Now, this does lead into my first con. A little more upfront information would be great. As a new user, it wasn't clear to me that I needed to water my plants for a particular period of time or how often I should water. As I mentioned before, I accidentally deleted the water and light schedules that were already in the app when I started. 
After several weeks went by and I realized things were not growing quite like they should, I messaged Garden and was given a schedule to water my plants. I started to see immediate results. The Garden app has a system of three different faces under both watering and lighting. The three faces consist of a sad, just okay, and a happy face. These faces are meant to let you know how happy or not your plants are with your lighting and watering schedules. I messaged Garden again a week later because I noticed that while now I had a smiley face for watering in my app, I couldn't seem to achieve the same for my lighting schedule. They replied immediately and I was given a schedule to set my lighting on and finally achieved my smiley face for lighting in the app. It was just as I hit the five week mark of owning and operating garden that they sent me an email and a message in their app letting me know that plant food hampers germination and that new Y cubes should be put in a tray with a quarter inch of water only until they germinate. I immediately hopped on Amazon to look for a tray for my next set of cubes. But I have to say that if they were to put all of this information in the app or user manual up front along with a soaking tray, it would be much appreciated and a nice touch. So while they were a little behind in letting me know certain tips that would have helped to have in my first six weeks of operation, they were quick to respond to any email I sent or problems that they could see from the cameras. As of May 2020, they are still very much a new company and I am sure they are working out all the kinks. Which leads me to my next point. You can only have one garden per app or device without having to sign in or out to control the garden. Here's what that means. I bought this at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic in the United States in the spring of 2020. I wanted to be able to place a couple of these in my dining room so I could feed my family from them. Right now, as it stands in May of 2020, the garden app is only able to handle one unit at a time. So you would have to either sign out of the app and sign in under the second unit on your device, or if you have multiple devices like an iPad and an iPhone, you could just control them separately with each device without having to sign in and out all of the time. I have reached out to Garden and asked if in the future, they might consider being able to add multiple systems and just naming them all within the same sign-in on your app. We'll see what the future holds. My last point here is not that bad and here's why. Garden sends you pods with seeds, not starter plants as some hydroponic systems do. Okay, so you have to start from seed, but while initially that might mean a longer wait time before harvest, once you get started on your second set of pods, you can get them germinating by soaking them in the tray that I mentioned earlier. So really, I don't see this as a problem that's a very big deal. And if Garden ever decides to add that tray for soaking to their system, it would be a great plus. If you are looking for an easy way to grow your own food indoors year round, you might just check out the Garden. As a first time user who is super busy, this was a major home run for my family. I'm a homeschool mom, an allergy mom, so I cook almost everything my family eats, and I still have to take care of a house and run my business. My point is that through the beauty of technology and necessity, hydroponics are finally within reach for those of us who don't have the time to figure it all out. Growing my own food also ensures that no one else has touched my food before I eat it. It's super yummy because it's as fresh as I can possibly get and my kid is suddenly asking to go pick green stuff to eat because she can and it's so good but it's also organic and that's very important to me. On top of all of that, by growing what food I can from home, I'm helping to lessen my carbon footprint and that is a great step in the right direction. If this video has helped you in any way, I would love to hear from you. And if you're interested in future reviews like this one or my other videos, please subscribe below. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, I'm Essie Flynn.